I'd like to talk about some preparation work that I've done. This is the body tube. I've added the CA glue on here, which I've talked about before to make that very stiff and rigid. I also put CA glue on the engine mount tube. And I don't know if you can see that in there, but on both ends. And again, it stiffens it up when you insert the engines, eventually you tend to fray the outside. A um, couple of other things is that the tail cone had this little ridge. That ridge was the part where the engine clip is going to fit in. So the engine clip now fits through this little slot so we can get the engine out. I'm gonna go like this. And one thing I forgot to mention in my previous video on building rockets is that the engine clip, when you put it on, it's nice to have a very slight bend in it, very, very slight, just like this. The reason is when you lock down the tail end of it, it's gonna have a slight bend toward the engine and then it'll hold it a little bit more tightly uh, when, we, when you put the engine in. So now I've got all the parts. I've got my engine clip um, ring. I've got the spacer rings. I've got the tail cone. I've got the engine mount tube and I've got the engine clip. And now I'm gonna start measuring everything out. I'm going to have the engine stick out of the engine mount tube about three eighths of an inch. So given that's three eighths of an inch, I can now measure where the actual back of the engine is going to be and where the engine hook is going to go. So with the engine sticking out three eighths of an inch, this mark right here is about three and a quarter inches back. So look at that. And that's where the engine hook is going to go. So the engine hook is going to go right there into that and then grip onto the engine. So what I'm going to do is make a line all the way around this just to make it easier to, to visualize where it's going to be. Okay, so I just drew a line around this to mark this as engine hook so I know where the back that's going to be. And now I'm going to mark out where I'm going to put the spacers. Okay, so what I did was to put a line here, and this is 55 millimeters back from the end of the engine mount. So if this sticks out maybe two millimeters, um, and we've got the tail cone, and then we've got the shoulder, which has to go inside, our centering ring is going to go right here, and that's going to be about three or four millimeters back from the back of the shoulder when this all gets inserted. And then the other uh, ring is going to be right here, and that's going to be on, right on top of the engine clip. So let me go ahead and start getting all these things put together. 